Hi guys, my name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel. So if we're looking at Ethereum and Bitcoin, we can see that we did have this huge candlestick to the downside. And right now the market hasn't been doing so much. But if we are looking at the lower time frames, we can find opportunities to actually sell or buy the market. Even if the market is just consolidating right now, we need these support and resistance zones where we can actually can see if the market reacts to it or not. So that's why you're using the lower time frames to make sure that even if it does doesn't happen so much on the higher time frames we can find all of these entries on the lower time frames and please remember I am no financial advisor so please you need to look everything up yourself first but continue watching this video I'm gonna show you what I see on Bitcoin and Ethereum <laughs> We're starting off, of course, with Bitcoin on the daily and we can see we haven't done very much today. The market has just been going sideways and you can see that the more we're going into the smaller time frames, going directly to the 15 minutes, we can see that after I did put up this uh, previous resistance that we did have on 42595 around that area, we can see that the market has been around that that uh, resistance a long time like the whole day like, since yesterday so if you've been trading around this it's been a chance that you could have been stopped out because the market has just been going <laughs> like sideways for real very boring but hey after a huge movement like this the market usually just consolidate for uh for a while after that and after that the market will either continue of course to the downside or to the upside so I mean, what can we do right here? We can do is obviously we can take this and now we, we can see that we do have this little triangle. And after that, obviously, we want to see what the mark if the market will continue to the downside or to the upside. But just having a triangle on the lower time frames doesn't really make sense, because as you know, the higher time frames is the one that is telling us what the market actually is doing. So what I'm waiting for, as I told you in yesterday's video, is that I want the market to come up to this Fibonacci level that I'm having. And I took it from the high 44830 to the low and that's 41526. So Obviously, I want the market to continue to to this area and then I want to see how the market reacts to it. And we're looking at the overall picture on on Bitcoin right now, we are still in this downtrend right here. So obviously, I'm looking for the market to come up here and react and maybe we'll create a new lower low because this was the previous lower low that we did have. And uh, if we're following market structure right now, the market is the market will do a, a lower high, a, a new lower low. That's something that we have to wait and see, obviously, but that's what I'm looking for. And if the market is not doing what I what I'm uh, I wanted to do, I I'm just changing. I just following price. I following market structure, and then I I see if the market actually it's on its way down or it's on its way up. But I do believe the market will continue back down. And if the market has trouble to break this resistance that we are, are around on the lower time frames, I could definitely see the market coming down a bit more. But if we're going to the 15 minutes, taking these away, if if I want to, if I would want to sell the market, we do have different supports right here that the market can break and we can actually trade off of them. We can take this one away because if we're looking back right now, I took this resistance before because at that point this didn't happen. So it did look like this. So when you're not having anything when you're not having having anything around this area to see where the market actually can respect, you always look at you always go back. But right now we do have more data from Bitcoin, so we have new support and resistance zone. So I'm gonna take that one away because right now that one is not is no use for me right now. What I can do is that I can take this resistance, so we'll have another range. We have. You, can you see how different it just became by doing that? How much better it does look? Right now we do have other zones that the market can react to. And if we are copying pasting this Fibonacci again to the other to the lower time frames, we could definitely see if the market comes up here. And I, I think I was talking about this before. We can see we see that we do have another support right here. And that's also combined with the 
with the Fibonacci level. So what the market, what the market, the market can, can do a lot of things. The market can just continue going sideways and then it can just spike down or spike up. But obviously what we want, want the market to do is come to these areas that, that I just covered up because we want to see how the market will react to it. So right now, we never trade inside of a market looking like this. This is this is scream. This is screaming. You're gonna lose money, <laughs> and you're stupid if you're trading all of this because you have no idea what the market can do. The market can just you just look at this. Like this is so hard to trade. You can't do that. I mean, of course, if you if you see it, I mean, we see the market in different ways. But how I see it is it make no sense. But I'm not gonna tell you you can't trade it because obviously you can see things that I cannot see. But for me, myself and I, I want the market to continue to the upside. And obviously I want the market to react in uh, around the Fibonacci levels because I, I'm, I, I love Fibonacci because the market reacts to the Fibonacci levels so perfect. So that's why I want the market to come, by, come up here. But if the market doesn't succeed to come up there, I obviously need to have, I, I always have to have other choices. So if the market breaks this support, coming back up and retest it, I obviously can see opportunities to sell the market also. As you can see, we are just consolidating right now and it's really hard to tell. We just have to wait and see what the market is doing and right now it's the weekend, so maybe the market doesn't move that much, but after a huge, huge move like this, you can see that the market doesn't move so much. And you can see it's just ha it was just the same thing here. You can see the market just spiked to the downside and for a couple of days we were just going sideways. And if you if you're going back even more, you can see that we did have this huge movement to the upside and for a couple of days we were just moving sideways. So that's I mean that and that's typically how Bitcoin moves. Like Bitcoin have like huge movements like from nowhere the market just, just spikes to the upside or to the downside and then it's just like doing nothing for a couple of days and then it's like <laughs> everyone's like whoa what what's going on <laughs> so that's how and that's something when i started trading uh bitcoin i just realized like this is what's going on here it's like <laughs> and then it's like nothing happens for a couple of days and then like <laughs> you know <laughs> sound like i'm in like a star a star wars movie right now but that's if you want to translate Bitcoin, that's how it's that's how it sounds like pew, pew, yay, pew, pew. for playing around a bit, man. You have to make trading fun because seriously, it's not that fun just sitting at the charts and looking like so. You 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 know you, know, you have to take some humor into it. This is what I see on Bitcoin. I haven't looked at Ethereum for a while, so I'm 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 gonna give you my opinion about Ethereum and well. To be honest, I don't think the market has been doing much here either. And as I just told you, they it haven't. And we can just take the same thing here. Like I do, I do believe we will continue. But I, I do believe we will continue down. Looking at the lower time frames, obviously we have a support right here. That if the mark, because you can see we are now also just moving sideways. So. My opinion is that I want the market to come to the support, break it to the to the downside, come back up and retest it as a new resistance. And we are on 2852 around that area. And if it's breaking to the upside, obviously we do have this resistance turning into a support and that's around uh, 2980. And, and we do have the Fibonacci on the lower time frames too. So from the high three one four three to the to the low two seven four five, we would want the market to come up here, and that's actually that's actually just around this resistance that I have. So if the market comes to around two nine eight six, I want to see if the market reacts to it as a new resistance and then go down, or if it's breaking it and come and, and retest it as a new support. And obviously combining that with the higher time frames candlestick, as I always tell you. But I do believe that we will continue back down because if you're looking at this candle that we did have since yesterday, it's such a huge candlestick. 
it's such a huge candlestick so so i think the market have to come back down again I, I i i don't believe we will just no i do i do believe we will continue back down and if we are breaking this consolidation that we do have the next target could be around 2497 obviously right now the market doesn't move so much because we did have the huge movement from uh, since yesterday so right now the market is just consolidating right now we just have to wait and see how the market reacts to these levels that i'm talking about thank you so much please comment below if there's something you're wondering if or if you just like the video please like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and we see each other tomorrow bye bye have a great weekend